Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. This is your first time here and you want to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners and lots and lots of other projects. Start now by subscribing and click the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Okay, here we go. So I've made a modification to my blower fan. I've added a socket to the, to the front of it. Now I had to do that because I had it taped up and it kept falling off. So I needed something I could just plug the vacuum cleaner hose into. And I've done that. I'm going to show you how I do that. And also, bigger than that, I've made a modification to the waste oil burner. And maybe you can see it there. I put these things on it. I'm going to show you how I did it and why I did it. And it works really, really well now. I mean, it will roast this place out. Here we go. So that's it, I've welded these things on. These things are directional, you know, directors if you like, for the air. So the air comes up through the bottom and it gets blown out the side in an anti-clockwise direction. So that's the plan, the air goes that way. So hopefully it increases how the air is mixed within the burn unit. And uh, if that happens, I get a bit more efficiency. Now as it happens, it works really well too. So I'm trying to make this unit work so um, with both forced air, you know, I've got a big fan, I drive air in through here and it, you know, it sh squirts or shoots air out through the, the sides and hopefully does that. Or I use it, you know, normally aspirated where the air comes in over atmospheric pressure and, uh, you know, with a little bit of maneuvering, I can force the air to come out under pressure and mix the gases. But again, all done by the, you know, the force of the flue, higher raising my flue, pulling air in behind it. And hopefully that agitates the, uh, the mix. Now, this is quite hot to hold. So what I'm going to do now is I want to try this. It's just a mod on the previous. I made this one in the previous couple of videos and showed it working. And this is just a modification to it to see if I can improve it a bit. Now, as it turns out, it's really good. So this is just kind of as far as I'm going to go with it. If it doesn't work, maybe I'll just chop them off. But behind these flutes, if you like, or behind these kind of directors are little slots. Okay, maybe you can see those little slots inside. And um, you know, the air initially comes out through that. Hopefully I can direct the air, or at least agitate it a bit more. Okay, here we go. Now, as you can see, I've taken my jacket off. Uh, the sheds have to get nice and warm, which is great. Okay, that's what we want this thing for. It just runs all day, it runs out of a bucket. Couldn't be simpler. But, I have a, a plan for that particular burner. I want to use it in some sort of uh, boiler stove. Uh, possibly pour it, and I want to make a ton of hot water. So that's in the next video. So for now, anyway, I want to test this out with, um, with compressed air or with, you know, forced air from this fan. And uh, the reason I want to do that is because um, as it's currently set up, I need a four meter flue to generate enough suction to keep all this going smokeless. Um, if I generate the pressure to do the mixing with a fan, I don't need such a big flue. Um, I might just need one high enough to kind of get it away, you know, so that you're not breathing in the fumes. Anyway, I'm not sure what way that's going to work out, but for now, anyway, I want to be able to attach a hose to this, um, you know, fan. And the problem is, if I try, you know, this is my hose, and if I try to put it there, nothing happens. I have to tape it up, which is what I did the other day. Um, and that was just a temporary setup. So to make it a more permanent and a nicer setup, easier to work with, uh, I'm just going to chop this. Now, this is just a lump of something that was around. Like a lot of the projects I have, I try to, you know, uh, recycle or reuse some of the stuff I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two circles out of this. Um, I'm not going to use routers or, or whatever. I'm just going to lash this out of it with a uh, jigsaw. I'm going to mark a couple of circles, cut them out, make two rings, stick them together and you know go through the original screw holes. Um, and then that should give me a tunnel or something I can plug the, uh, the, the vacuum cleaner hose into. So here we go. Let's make a couple of circles first. So just going to draw around this first. So I missed a bit, but that's kind of, it's not really a circle on this, it's more um, flattened. So that's one, let's have a look see if it is. Okay, so it's close enough. It, it certainly will block it off. So we'll just do a second one of these, see if I can get one out of the same, I can, out of the same piece of timber. So that's what I've done. I, you know, just cut a couple of plywood rings, screw them together, and then screw them onto the plastic housing of the Vanity Castle fan. And what that does for me then is 
this is my, you know, maybe three meter long, nine foot long um, vacuum cleaner hose. And I wanted to be able to attach it to that. So essentially all I did was made an adapter. There we go. That's nice and tight, never going to fall out. And, um, and this has a swivel end on it, which is great. So, okay, so what, what that does for me then is, you know, this is going into the stove. This was just a lump of scaffolding bar, two inch pipe maybe. And I just, you know, welded a kind of a, I don't know what that is, 30 degree angle on it. Um, and I have this a while. This is from, I don't know, a couple of years ago when I did something else with one of my stoves. But essentially all I do is I just vacuum cleaner hose in there, maybe a bit of tape on it just to seal it, and the air has to come out there. This bit obviously can't burn, and it's going to go into the bottom of the stove. And we're going to do that right now. Okay, so I did some modifications to my bouncy castle fan and it's um, it's good now so I haven't installed it yet I'm just about to do that I'm going to show you the setup but look this board has been working for about an hour now on its own and it's doing that the thing is absolutely red hot I turned it down a bit and um, you can see it it's just works so you know essentially what happens here is I come out to the shed light it do a bit of work in the shed whatever I want and uh, when I finish, shut it up and go indoors. I don't have to mess around with it. There's no, there's no major settings or whatever. It just works. So here's my bouncy castle fan minus the dimmer switch. The dimmer switch was a bit of a disaster. It was threatening to burn out the motor of the fan. So we've got the, uh, two, the two plates, you know, the two washers, big fat kind of rings that I made out of um, plywood. You can see them there. And that's the fan, or that's the, uh, the, the vacuum cleaner hose plugged into it. So we've got the two rings and the vacuum, you know, it's a lovely tight bit. There I am holding the whole thing up just with the hose. Okay, on this end I've got a bit of metal tubing and that's so that I don't melt the hose. You know, I'm blowing air through this into the burning here. Okay, also, as I'm here, this is a, uh, a slider air regulator of a Riello burner. And um, Matthew Lawrence, thank you very much, recommended that instead of using the dimmer switch, you know, I put one of these on. I have loads of these around the place, I have loads of burners. But um, I didn't get around to it, I hadn't thought of it at that stage. But uh, fair play, thanks Matthew. Okay, so here we go, look. I'll put this into the unit. I shortened this a little bit since the last day. And it's a bit easier to get in. Okay, so that's it in. And we give it some air. Now, today is not about um, this sort of stuff. I just thought I'd show you the different modification I made to the burner. Um, I put those flutes on it and you know in operation I can see it. It is actually turning the flame a bit. Instead of coming vertically up they're going sideways and doing this further up into the stove. Now it's not swirling like a hurricane or anything like that. It's just a gentle turn on it. Um, when I put the fan on it I don't expect it to do a whole lot more. But uh, let's see, here we go, fan on. So you can see the flame got brighter. Now, my plan right now, you can see that the door is open, there's no smoke coming out. I'm gonna put the fan on, and hopefully, you know, we can see the difference between normally aspirated, where the air is coming from everywhere, to fan powered. Here we go. Just plugging it in now. There we go. aggressive setup. So people are asking me about foundries. Will this power a foundry? Well, you know, what do you think? <laughs> I think it will. So a foundry is on my radar. I will be doing a foundry at some stage soon. But they're savagey. I'm going to melt my camera and me. Now as I look higher up into the flame, maybe the other camera can see it. It is actually swirling, but it's very bright in there. So it's hard for it to see. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you how this thing runs in operation. The stuff in there is red hot, it's lashing out heat, you know. The whole stove would be too hot to manage. So I'm going to power off the fan now and let it die down. So in the next video, I'm going to, out of an oil drum and a propane bottle, I'm going to make a water heater. You know, it should produce um, a ton of hot water. I'm expecting to be able to heat in the order of about 80 gallons to 100 degrees. That's boiling point of water, 100 degrees C, not far right now. 212 Fahrenheit, 
I'm expecting to be able to do that in about an hour. You know, so um, I won't need that volume of water, but um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm aiming for. Whether I can do it or not now remains to be seen because at the moment there is no bar, um, there is no boiler. Now I have a 55 gallon oil drum and also I have a, a large propane bottle and the plan now is to turn all of that into some sort of water here. Uh, given <laughs> my trouser leg is actually melting, I can smell the, uh, the material, you know. So I'm going to have to turn this thing down, but um, I can do that now with the little flap on the side. Thanks man. So look, I'm going to end it there. If you haven't been here before, uh, maybe you consider subscribing down here somewhere. If you've been here before with me, thanks very much. <laughs> I couldn't grow the channel without you. Uh, cheers. Okay, so I'll end it there. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck.